Masters is not gold, but he had obviously never met Elmer Long, the creator of Route 66's most magical plot of land, the Bottle Tree Ranch. Hello. Billy Connolly. How Billy? Nice to meet you. Glad to know you. I love your garden. Ah, thank you. It's an enchanted forest, isn't well, it? Oh, that's something. Yeah, could you think you could give me a wee look round it? Sure. Thanks, I would really love that. I think it's astonishing. Some of these bottles uh, my father collected. He was, yeah. a, he was a bottle collector, but he had no way of displaying it. Well, what, what was his, your father's idea when he collected the bottles? <laughs> He just liked them. I, I believe he thought he was going to get rich. I really do. He would dig a hole in the ground, maybe five foot deep, digging up bottles. And when he found an old one, he honestly thought he had a gold mine in his hand. <laughs> he did. But well, sometimes you do. Yeah, well, it didn't work out that way. I love it. Yeah. I would love to live here. I love the constant noise too. Yeah. There, there's a story there. You see it with the hole? With the board with the hole? Yeah, that's a, stalks. A, that, that's not a stalk. What is it? That's a toilet seat. Oh my god. <laughs> well, of course, in the lid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 What's that from? Boxing bell. It's a boxing bell? Yeah. There's guns. Where do you find guns? Well, I picked this one up in Arizona. There's another gun there. That's a shotgun. Oh, yeah. Are you interested in guns that, that work? No. I have no use for working guns. I don't kill anything. Nothing dies. That's wonderful. No. Everything lives here. Some treasure hunters sift the bottom of the oceans looking for doubloons and barnacle-crusted chests. Elmer finds his riches in landfills and dumps. I found where the Baghdad dump was. The only thing left in that dump is dirt and a few beer bottles. I cleaned it out. <laughs> I cleaned it out. How do you go about finding dumps? The wife and I travel on weekends. We go out and... Uh... Is she as keen as you are? <sighs> nah. Yes, but she's... She's not into this like I am. If we go out and I find a place, she won't. She'll usually just stay in the truck and read a book. <laughs> Let you run me around. I'll do all the work. <laughs> but she likes to go on the trips. That's lovely. Yeah. There's no money in it. It's all free. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I had a couple of ladies from Mexico come here, a mother and a daughter. The daughter had an eight-year-old son with her. And before they left, the grandma, she gave me a hug, and her daughter immediately gave me a hug. Now, if you was to compare going to a mine and excavate a, a vein of gold and take it to the bank and get rich, that's one thing. But little hugs like that coming from people from another country, that's pure gold, and you don't put that in a bank, you put it in your heart, <laughs> you know? And, you, got uh, that's, you got it. That's the key here. Well, Luke, thank you so much for your sure. time. I've really, really enjoyed it. Sure. I like Elmer, a man who made his own American dream come true, and that's what this road is all about. The pursuit of the American dream in the state that promised it all. Mm. Beaches, pools, good neighbours, flash cars and eternal youth. And it's that dream that still draws millions to California to this day, making it the most populated state in America.